Hello everyone, in this lecture we will discuss about the polynomial addition using the linked list. Suppose we have two polynomials given as this one and if we have to add these two polynomials the method of addition would be to uh, find out the exponents of uh, the different terms and uh, if the two exponents are same they, their coefficients are added together for example, in this, uh, in these two polynomials, we are comparing these two terms. These two terms have the different exponents. This has the exponent seven, and this has the exponent six. So th for this one, the exponent is larger. So this is added in the fi final polynomial, and then we move to this. We are here now, and we are here the exponent of this one is larger than this one so this will be added in the final polynomial and then we will be progressing to this one for this one and this one exponents are same so their coefficients will be added 4 minus 2 is plus 2 so 2x power 5 since we have added these two polynomials having the same degree we are moving to these terms so for these two terms, the exponent of this one is large and this one is small. So larger term will be added in the final polynomial. We'll be progressing for this one. One, this one and this one. This one has a larger exponent than this one. So we'll be adding this one. Minus 3x cube. This one and this one. Their exponents are equal. So the coefficients can be added. So 7x square. We're moving to this one and moving to this one this exponent is 0 and this exponent is 1 so larger exponent is added in the final polynomial we are moving to this one now we will compare this one and this one having the same exponent that is 0 so 2 minus 7 is minus 5 and this is the answer polynomial so whatever is the method will be same as what we will employ there for uh, by addition by for performing the addition using the linked list so first I store these numbers in the form of the linked list. So for doing so, in the linked list we are considering that we have three fields. One is coefficient, the other one is exponent and the last one is the next field that is keeping the address of the next node. So for 4x power 7 it will be written as 4, 7, 4 is the coefficient and 7 is the exponent. For this term minus 2 is the coefficient and 5 is the exponent. For this one, one is the coefficient and sorry, one is the coefficient and four is the exponent. For this term, five is the coefficient and two is the exponent. And for this one, two is the coefficient and zero is the exponent. Now for this, eight is the coefficient and six is the exponent. Four is the coefficient and five is the exponent. For this one, minus three is the coefficient and three is the exponent. For this term. 2 is the coefficient and 2 is the exponent. For this 7 is the coefficient and 1 is the exponent. And for this one minus 7 is the coefficient and 0 is the exponent. So let's say this is the polynomial 1 represented as poly 1. Let's say this is polynomial 2. Now we are going to perform the addition of these two polynomials. So let's say the name of the function is add polynomials and the name of the function is poly1 sorry uh, the parameters passed to this functions are poly1 and poly2 so let's take a p in the polynomial 1 as a first node so p is the pointer the first node in the polynomial 1 and q is the pointer as the first node in the second polynomial now for performing the addition, whenever we will add these two polynomials, we will be adding the uh, coefficient and the exponent in the third polynomial. So let us take a third polynomial from our side and that is initialized to null, that is a linked list. And every time we will be performing the additions of the nodes in the end. Okay, These two will be added or whatever term is coming from, from the addition, they, that will be added in the 
end of the linked list. So we'll be calling the insert end function for doing so. Now for doing the addition, we'll have we will have to compare p and q. So while p is not null and q is not null, we'll be doing these operations and we'll be comparing the exponent of p and q. Okay. So so the very first thing is if p dot exponent is equal to q dot exponent okay so the exponents are equal if the exponents are equal then coefficients will be added together and they will be added as a last node in the linked list so we are going to perform the insert end operation in poly 3 we need to provide the coefficient what will be the coefficient here coefficient will be p dot coefficient plus q dot coefficient and what will be the exponent either to take p dot exponent or q dot exponent both are same so you need to add the coefficient so p dot coefficient plus q dot coefficient after this you need to progress this p to point to the next node and similarly q to point to the next node okay so this was the case when exponents were equal if the exponents are not equal so there are two possibility either the first uh, uh, linked list has the uh, uh, so first linked list node has the greater uh, greater uh, exponent value or the second one so if p dot exponent is greater than q dot exponent it means the first one is or the first term uh, or the sorry the term in this first link list has the greater exponent then insert in the end of poly 3 p dot coefficient and p dot exponent okay so the term from p side is coming and we need to progress this p to point to the next node p equals to p dot next if the exponents are not equal and p's exponent is not greater then there is only one possibility that q's exponent is greater so if the q's exponent is greater that will be added in the final link list so in the poly 3 we're going to add q dot coefficient and q dot exponent after this you need to progress this q to point to the next node fine now once this uh, operation is complete and uh, we have added the uh, coefficients and the exponents as required and any of the link list any of these two link list finishes it means it may it may be like the first uh, suppose that the first polynomial is up to this term only 5x square so this is not there so not there second polynomial is like this only so while performing the addition this p will become null after adding this term so if after adding this term p becomes null that has a meaning that second linked list or second polynomial will remain with some of the terms so all those terms will be added one by one to the final linked list okay and the similar may be the case with the first linked list also so we need to take care of this condition if uh, we have the nodes in the first linked list while p is not null then all the terms remaining with a p or the first linked list will be added in the final polynomial list one by one okay similarly if uh, not in the first linked list but in the second linked list we have some of the terms remaining so while q is not null 
will be adding each of its term in the final link list okay once this is done at a time either this will work or this will work if the first link list is finished with the nodes only this will work if the second link list is finished with the nodes only this will work okay at a time only these two uh, one of these two will work and finally you can return the third polynomial list which is the answer link list okay so this is the addition of two polynomials if you take a summary of this then what has happened that we have to compare the exponent of the two polynomial polynomial terms if the first term uh, if if the first uh, if, if the term in the first link list has a greater exponent than the second one then the term from the first uh, polynomial will be added in the final final polynomial if they are equal then the terms will come from both the polynomials their coefficients will be added and uh, if the second polynomial has the greater exponent the term will come from the second polynomial so uh, this loop is up to the time both the polynomials have the terms both the linked list have the nodes if any of the linked list is finished with the nodes this loop will finish if first linked list is remaining with some of the nodes they will be added one by one using this uh, th this while loop if the first linked list has finished and second linked list is remaining with some of the nodes you will be using these loops to add these terms to the final linked list and finally you will return the answer linked list as return poly3 thank you